fresh squeezed orange. I tell you what, man. You drink some fresh squeezed orange juice, and the first thing you're going to say is, "What the heck am I drinking out of the from the store? The conventional stuff. It's all processed. It's pasteurized. It, it's please preservatives. Unbelievable. Now, you saw the thumbnail. Part of the billion person cleanse, man. Life's good. Now, I want you to try this. If you've never done a cleanse before and it sort of scares you, I want you to try this. First of all, guys, get the book. Get the book. Guys, I've already sold a dozen of them. And the, the thing's hardly been up a couple hours. Anyway, I had it on several, several sites. But here's the deal. Ten bucks. Email me at the email at the end of this video. Here's the deal. We got Easter coming up. And this is the time of Lent and, you know, giving up things and all this sort of stuff, which I'm not sure if I... Anyway, different story. But here's what you can do. And this is very, very common. I do this all the time. Even though I may not be on an extended cleanse, I do cleanse at least one day a week. And here's what I do. About 12 o'clock on Saturday... And it doesn't have to be Saturday or Sunday. It can be any day of the week that works out for you, your schedule-wise or whatever. By 12 o'clock on Saturday, I will have my main meal. I'll have my salad. I might have some uh, steamed veggies, stuff like that. All right? Probably the most calorie meal I will have during the day. I'll have it just about 12 o'clock. Okay? I am not the least bit hungry the rest of the day. Not at all. If I am, I have some juice. Feel yourself getting a little hungry? Have a couple sips of juice, guys. You will not be hungry. Okay? Because you've had the big meal. You go to bed. Eight hours later, you get up. Go for a walk. You have a workout. You have some juice. You go to church. You come home from church, 11 o'clock mass. It's about 12 o'clock. You've done a 24-hour fast, 24-hour cleanse. I like it fast because we're, we're, we're consuming some calories. Guys, I'm, do, I'm doing about 3,000 calories a day of juice. And all I've had is juice today. <clears throat> it's just about 1 o'clock. Not quite 1 o'clock. Guys, and all of a sudden, you've done a one-day juice cleanse. And you are going to say, oh, that's easy, man. I can do this. I can do this. Guys, the first day is not bad. I'm not, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to disappoint you. The first day is not bad. Day two, three, four is tougher. It really is. I'm just, I'm just warning you. Why is the first day not bad? Because you just ate. You know, it, 24 hours later, you barely got that meal out of your system. Okay? So anyway, what have you done? You've cleansed for one day. Now, you're going to say to yourself, that's easy. I can do that. That's no problem. Why don't you do it every week? A year from now, you have cleansed 52 days. Guys, that's a significant cleanse. Now, would it be even more dynamic and significant if you did 52 days in a row? Yes. But that's one way to do it. Now, if you're just curious, if one day a week is enough, fine. Now, how about this? Saturday into Sunday... You get home Sunday, you're not the least bit hungry. Push your meal back till 2. Push your meal back till 4. Guys, by the time you get to 4 o'clock, <clears throat> you're almost there. Just drink more juice, and all of a sudden you've done one day plus, 26 hours, 28 hours, or you've done two days. Make that part of your weekend regimen, if you want. And again... A year later, 52 weeks, you've done 104 days of cleansing. Guys, again, if you did it all at once, you'd be screaming from the rooftops. See what I mean? Now, it doesn't have to be said. I just said Easter because Easter is, you know, Lent and, and you know, atoning and all that sort of stuff. All right? But, uh, yeah, think about it. It is a very, very, I'm telling you, that weekend thing I do 
every single week, and I don't even think twice about it. I usually go to the grocery store on uh, Saturday morning. Okay? If I get home midday, I'll have my meal. I might have some rice, I might have some potatoes, I might have some pasta, and then just gulp in the juice the rest of the day, and it's not a le no problem at all. <clears throat> now I get up, and if you've been following these videos, I never eat in the morning. I'm working out. I'm just drinking juice. So that part's easy, guys. It's a very, very easy way to get started on the cleanse. And if you have any hankering now, you are going to feel the benefits. That Sunday morning, guys, just juice, you are going to feel terrific. Okay? I said, wow, this is kind of cool. All right? This is kind of cool. You want to extend it today? A couple hours? Bada bing, bada boom. All right? Give it a try. Guys, a billion people on a cleanse? Oh, my God. You don't think this world would be a better place? The world would be a better place. I'm going to explain that in later videos. But there's tests, studies all over the place throughout history that the mediating nations have much more proclivity for violence and sex than the plant eating nations, the grain eating nations. It's just a fact. Anyway, another video. Guys, have a great day, and we'll talk again tomorrow. Get your, get your juicer. That's your first step. Amazon Prime can have it here tomorrow. The uh, Hamilton Beach, $69.99. Big dog. All right? Love you all.